So it's another day and it's yet another glorious legal defeat suffered by Donald Trump and many other people in his Republican circle. And it has everything to do with fundraising, which means this defeat could have major consequences in 2022 and even in 2024 as well. And it's connected to the scams that Donald Trump and his people did when they went to supporters for money in the 2020 election. If you were call they did all of these shady things in their fundraising emails where they had these boxes that were automatically checked the people didn't check them but if you didn't uncheck them you would without your knowledge be signed up for weekly recurring donations so somebody that wanted to give 50 100 200 dollars would unwittingly be signed up to give you know like a thousand bucks over the next couple months which many of them could not afford. I want to read this to you. It says, Judge says states can investigate WinRed's fundraising tactics. The Republican digital donation platform is facing inquiries from four states' attorneys general into the use of pre check boxes to withdraw donations automatically. And you could see a couple examples of the boxes here and how they looked and how they tricked people. And it notes here with some additional context that the New York Attorney General, Letitia James, said it's their responsibility to be honest and transparent with their services, and it's the responsibility of the states to fight back against deceptive behavior in all of its forms. In the fall of 2020, the Trump campaign used pre-check boxes to get a donor's permission to withdraw extra donations every week, then obscured that fact below extra text unrelated to the additional withdrawals. In the following weeks and months, demands for refunds increased sharply as supporters said they were duped into unwitting contributions. All told, the Trump operation, working with the Republican Party, refunded more than 10% of every dollar raised through WinRed in the 2020 campaign, a rate more than four times that of Democrat Joseph R. Biden Jr.'s operation. This was systematic and far worse than his opponent because Trump was lying, cheating, and stealing from his supporters. Again, this is critical because while a lot of us don't feel bad for people that give money to Donald Trump and then Donald Trump doesn't care about them and doesn't support policy that actually represent working in middle class people. And so at this point, if you're still a Trump backer, I do not feel bad for you. This is like literally fraud. Like even if you don't feel bad for a Trumper who gives some of their hard earned money to the con man, they didn't consent to giving 500 bucks. They only consented to giving one, 125, 150, and the rest was all stolen from them. And Donald Trump was simply banking on the fact that enough of them wouldn't notice and that his campaign pain could pocket the money and that other Republicans sometimes doing the same thing could pocket the money. And so this shows that even from his own cult, even Trump's own cult doesn't donate enough to him for his campaign to really function. Even from his own cult, does he have to steal? And as we know, Donald Trump is going desperately broke and has used his political donations to make personal profit using the money at his golf courses and what have you. So this is devastating for the Republicans because this investigation could shed the light on things we don't even know about hurting them in 2022 and in 2024. Another glorious loss for them is a victory for justice.